amateurs, professionals, and nuts. In Erfurt, anyone can exhibit if they have something to show. And pumped up units, jumping Russians, and Erfurt corners prove that the East German tuning scene is alive and well. But in the Thuringian capital, there's even more to see the ultimate record attempt tuning in just 24 hours. So, a complete refit of the front and back bumpers and complete side skirts. You're looking at a week for that. But these guys don't have so much time. Forget Polo, Corsa or Trabant. Now something really big is coming to you. This T5 is to be made lower, faster and fatter. And if it goes according to the team's plans, the complete conversion will take three show days. That's a little too fast for Ronnie Maynard, the owner of the VW bus. I've got a few butterflies in my stomach because a new front spoiler is to go on, then the rear spoiler, side skirts, is to be lowered and get new wheels and so on. And that's all going to happen live at the show. So I'm a little bit scared that I'll have to take the train home. I hope it doesn't happen. The mechanics are using the HS Motorsport team bus as a model for the T5. The difference will be that they put this white one together in a month. With the experience from that conversion, this one here should go at high speed. Frankly, HS Motorsports Wheelman has doubts that the bus will be ready on time. Something like this is difficult to realize in a short time frame, so the blue bus will only get the basics. So coilover suspension, body kit, rims, the most important things, so that the vehicle really looks very, very good. The show opens its doors, a starting whistle for exhibitors and for our mechanics. 24 working hours and the VW bus is to become a T5 Looney Tune special. The first step is to jack it up for the new H&R coilover suspension. This would be standard if they'd measured precisely beforehand. The platform is too short. We need a longer one. I'll take it down. A bit forward. And then it'll work. Coming a little closer to the ground is not a problem with the right suspension tuning, but finding the ideal coil settings takes vital time. For the desired effect, Thomas and Jens lower the T5 to 11 centimeters of ground clearance, which just conforms to the Vehicle Inspection Agency's regulations. The car is still a little bit high. It's not driven a meter yet. After 1,000, 2,000 kilometers, the suspension will settle a bit more. There's no time for fooling around. The skirts, front and back parts are still untouched. At least the 19-inch wheels give a first impression of the bad touch. And does it fit? Yes, it fits, it fits. These people are producing power with computer technology. This fitness treatment is like putting anabolic steroids in a tank. From today, the TDI will no longer work from the lackadaisical global settings. New software with European figures will give the diesel a good 20 horsepower more. What we're doing now is nothing more than optimizing the engine software to Central European weather conditions, Central European fuel quality, and of course, relative to the German emission standards, optimizing the engine to take the output it's able to achieve. This ballpoint pen, the man decides whether the modified T5 can set its wheels on public roads. Not until the vehicle is accepted will the record be achieved. There's a very practical reason why it's already here 12 hours before the deadline. We'll have to look at this in advance, so there are no surprises. That's recommended anyway that an inspector takes a look even during the conversion work. Firstly, it means you don't have to take parts off again. And secondly, he can say in advance that will work and that won't work. After the first day, there's nothing to see of the new look yet. Time is getting tight for the team, the inspection has cost them an hour, and the worst is yet to come. Work that no one likes and that takes a lot of time. The grinding was the worst, dirty work. Now the team is racing to make up lost time. The front, side parts and the back are still missing. The team barely has time to play with for finishing touches like stickers or polishing. I have around two hours left, which is quite tight. It's a race against the clock for the men there's stress. Where's a woman when they need one? Does anyone have a compact mirror? Find out whether the crew manages the conversion in time after tuning flash. 